Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm going to talk about Google Fi. Now, Google Fi is a prepaid cell phone service that offers a plan for unlimited talk, text, and data, while also offering flexible data plans for people who don't need to use a lot of data and who may have access to Wi-Fi, so you may not need to use your cellular data. Now, in the actual Fi community, this is actually a pretty popular plan. And so I'll talk about the unlimited plan, what's available, as well as the flex plan, and what the differences are if you have more than one person on your plan. So starting off, if you're just one person and you wanted to get unlimited data, unlimited talk, unlimited text with Google Fi, it will be $70 per month. However, with their flex plan, their plan starts off at only $20 per month, and then you get charged $10 per every gigabyte of data that you use. And so if you happen to use seven gigabytes of data in a month, then that's the maximum that you're gonna be charged. You won't continue to be charged $10 for every gigabyte of data. Now, if you normally have a family plan or you would like to get more than one person on your plan in order to save money, once you have two users, then the unlimited plan is only $60 per month per individual. And with the flex plan, if you have two individuals, then it's $18 each. Now, once you move up to three users, the unlimited plan is $50 per line and the flex plan is $17 per line. Once you move up to four users, then the unlimited plan is $45 per line, and this is from four up to six users. With the flex plan, four users is still $17 per line, but if you have five or six lines, then it's only $16 each per line. So of course, the more people you have on your line, the more money you will save, and it's really hard to beat even at $20 with the flex plan, finding a plan that gives you unlimited talk and text for just $20 or as low as $16 if you have a large number of users on your family plan. And so I'm gonna go into more details on the differences between the unlimited plans and the flex plans because there are some features that you'll get with the unlimited plan that you won't get as a flex plan member. And I'll also go into more details about the network because as many of you may know, Google doesn't actually own any cell phone towers. And so with the unlimited plan, as I mentioned, you get unlimited talk, unlimited text, unlimited data. You get unlimited download speeds up until the point you use 22 gigabytes in a monthly period. And that's per line, that's not for the whole plan. If you do have a family plan, there are no speed restrictions otherwise mentioned besides if you reach the point of using 22 gigabytes of data in a month. And you also get free data and free text messaging when you travel internationally. And there are also free calls included to over 50 different international destinations. And this plan also includes mobile hotspot tethering and 24 seven customer service. Now, one of the main differences with the unlimited plan and the flex plan is that when you have the unlimited plan, you get access to the Google One membership, which gives you 100 gigabytes of cloud storage. So this will also allow you to back up your phone and that's for Android only. The backup wouldn't work with iPhones and you can use it to back up your photos or any other files as well. And you also get additional benefits like discounts on Google products. And so while you don't get that with the Flex Plan, if you're a person that's using the Flex Plan, what you're mostly concerned about is having the lowest possible cell phone bill that you can. And even starting off with just one user at $20 per month and only $10 per gigabyte, if you have access to Wi-Fi in the majority of the places that you go, and many people do have Wi-Fi at home, and there are so many free Wi-Fi hotspots wherever you go around different cities that you probably won't need to use your cellular data, and if you can completely avoid using it, then $20 is a great bill to pay, especially for one user or as low as $16 per user if you have a family plan. So let's talk about the network. As I mentioned, Google doesn't have their own cell phone towers. So with Google Fi, you do get access to Sprint, T-Mobile, and US cellular towers. And if you use a phone that's designed for Google Fi, then your phone will switch between those three networks to whichever one gives you the best coverage, depending on where you are at that time. But if you use a phone that's not designed for Fi, or if you're using an iPhone, then your phone will connect to the T-Mobile network. Google Fi will also connect you to those Wi-Fi hotspots for free. And so you may not necessarily have to actually go into your settings and figure out which Wi-Fi network is close to you that you can actually connect to. Google Fi will make its best attempt to connect to any available Wi-Fi networks for Google Fi. And as I mentioned, it won't work with iPhones. Technically, Google Fi is in beta mode currently for iOS devices. And so even once you sign up with Google Fi, if you use an iPhone, you'll need to adjust some of the settings on your phone just to get SMS text to work. So keep that in mind. And also remember iPhone users, if you're using iMessage, that means that those messages are actually using data. So if you send a lot of messages using iMessage or WhatsApp or apps like GroupMe, remember that those apps use data. And so you may wanna watch 
the amount of data usage you have, especially when you're not actually on Wi-Fi, if you don't have the unlimited data plan and you're using the Flex plan. So speaking specifically about phones designed for Fi, you have all of the Google Pixel devices, the Moto G7 and the Moto G6, the LG G7 ThinkQ, the LG V35 ThinkQ, and the Android One Moto X4. Now more devices will be added in the future, of course, as there are more Google produced devices that are created. But for now, these are phones that are actually designed for Google Fi, which allows you to switch between the three different networks. And now I do think it's ironic that it's called Google Fi, because when I think about Fi, I think about financial independence and the financial independence retire early community. And in this community, people like to find ways to save money with everything that they do. And so if Google Fi's flex plan, this has been a really popular plan in the Fi community. Now, while their unlimited plan isn't really a great plan, especially if you're trying to save money, because it's essentially around the same price range as a postpaid plan with Verizon, Sprint, AT&T, or T-Mobile. Although you did have the added benefit of being able to connect to Sprint, T-Mobile, and US cellular towers, but now that Sprint and T-Mobile have actually merged, it doesn't make it that big of a bonus anymore. And outside of food, shelter, and clothing, our cell phones are probably one of the expenses that we have that is monthly occurring and that more than likely you're gonna have some type of cell phone bill probably for the rest of your life. And so if you're a family that can avoid using cellular data and only stick to Wi-Fi, this could be a big expense saver. And then of course you can use all of that additional money to either go towards paying off debt or go towards investing. And so if you are a person that needs unlimited data, then there are certainly better plans for you, especially if you're just one person, because essentially you're getting T-Mobile's 5G unlimited plan if you have a phone that's not designed for Fi. And so if you're a current Google Fi user, and you have a phone that's actually designed for Fi, please let us know your experience in the comments below. And if you're an iOS user of Google Fi, also let us know because, because many people may not realize that Google Fi is actually available for iPhone users. All right, thanks for taking this time out of your day. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching, have a great day.